Hello chumps, my name is Monthly Munkle, and today I have an assortment of different clips I got on a Gold Rush server. I hope you enjoy. Now my main topic I'm going to talk about is quite dear to my heart. I am actually speaking about my path as a gamer, and specifically how I got into Team Fortress 2. So, it all began when my father was working in Singapore and came back with a brand spanking new Game Boy Advance. Now for myself, I had never had any interest in these devices, but I grew in excitement for it quite quickly. A lot of people in my generation actually began with larger consoles such as the N64 and even the GameCube, so I played various games on my Game Boy and had an excellent time. Up until this moment I was uh, pretty familiar with different Flash games that I used to play on the old Macintosh. One of the games that made one of the most profound influences on myself was Pokemon Ruby, which was released in 2003. Now, Pokemon, as we all know, has an interesting storyline, and the quest for becoming the greatest Pokemon trainer in the land is exciting and almost breathtaking. After some years of playing my Game Boy, new trends were starting to hit the market. A good friend of mine, who I still regularly see to this day, purchased a Nintendo DS. Now, this was cutting-edge portable gaming for its time. I shortly persuaded my parents into buy me, buying me one for my birthday and I played Nintendogs and other commercial titles. Then when there were new announcements of Pokemon Diamond and Silver, I did about six months research and built a very strong hype for a game. You know what it's like. And finally, when it came out, I made sure my friends bought it as well. I remember playing this game, having that hunger for playing and enjoying every bit of it. At this point, I was watching a lot of gameplay commentators on YouTube, who played in a sort of, I guess, more competitive environment. And this was pretty fascinating stuff for me. I haven't really seen anything quite like it before. I will note at this time I also dabbled on the Xbox. A nearby friend of mine had an Xbox and a couple of games, one of which was Halo 2. Myself and some friends from the neighborhood used to go around a couple of times a week and battle it out on some intense split screen. Now this was probably my first FPS shooter. I like the adrenaline of shooting games and something twitched in my mind that made me want to play more. At this time I only had my Nintendo DS handy and asking for another console wouldn't quite work. So I bought a game called Metroid Prime Hunters. Now this basically defined the inner shooter within me. Thinking back it was probably my first personal experience of a multiplayer shooter. At this time, on the Pokemon front, I purchased Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and this definitely kick-started the competitive part of me. I was using hidden in-game statistics to train my Pokemon so they would have specific traits and stats. I got pretty engrossed in this, the whole business, and um, found out a whole new uh, online community for like-minded people. Fortunately, I didn't really take this anywhere, and I just lost interest as time went on. Now when our family got a new Mac with a new OS X, I was eager to try out its horsepower. I think at this point I had discovered the YouTube community of Machinima and was dazzled by the variety of their content and games. A close friend was playing lots of FPS and he helped me install Steam and I bought Counter-Strike Source. I played about 30 hours and only on bots, I never really went online because I found it sort of, I guess, too intimidating for the new player. Uh, now. I was slowly making an incline into first person shooters. I think the real milestone for me was when I bought Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare for the Mac. Now this game still to this day is one of the most fun, fast paced games I've ever played. Um, you guys should definitely check it out if you, if you uh, don't have it. And um, I had a new knack for this and I, I played it for about a year or something, so yeah. And now as a gamer of the 21st century, I realized that it would be a good idea to take myself somewhere. All my friends around me had awesome gaming platforms and here I was playing COD on my Mac with very minimal graphics. After quite a bit of consideration about where I wanted to go, I developed interests in different games, new games. After saving for quite a while, I purchased my very own gaming computer for about 1850 bucks completely pimped out with custom internals and peripherals. Still to this day I use the computer and have had no problems whatsoever. I can run anything. I bought heaps of different games and I play a mix of FPS and RPGs. 
I'm playing a lot of Team Fortress at the moment because that's where my heart is. Team Fortress is an extraordinary game. Um, I'm always coming back to it. So that brings me to the question of the day. What do you guys like about Team Fortress and what do you reckon it could improve on? One of the things for me that really does it in Team Fortress is just all the customizable settings and configs that you can apply to the game just to have your own playing experience. I mean, and of course the trading system, oh man, you can spend so much time just grinding for that hat or weapon that you've always dreamed of. Another thing that really does it for me is definitely the updates. I mean, frequently Valve is updating this game, so it really spices up the gameplay and you get to try out lots of new weapons and and try on some new hats. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely some great functions in this game, particularly uh, the updates. Also, the competitive scene in this game is really fantastic. I mean, uh, a lot of people argue who are new to the game, they say that it doesn't require lots of skill and it's just red and blue sort of shooting at each other spontaneously but I, I definitely think that's false because I mean everything about this game is skill based everything has a learning curve and there's so many different things to try and to equip to change that so you're always finding a better way to play scout or finding a better way to shoot those pipes and practice those backstabs so I guess I'm getting a little bit carried away here but um back onto the main topic the reason why I installed Team Fortress and the reason I'm still playing it to this day so well basically let's start off I I got my computer and I got Steam and installed several demos and lots of stuff just to test the quality of my gameplay and um I was pretty baffled and um one of my friends recommended Team Fortress I'd heard of it before but I'd never really looked onto it and um so basically I, I installed it, um, it's about 14 gigs, it's relatively large. But uh, yeah, so I played that quite a bit. I'd say I got a, a decent 60 hours or something into it. I, I wasn't particularly fond of it, I, I was just sort of curious to try everything. And that's the great thing about this game, there's so much to try on. And um, so anyway, I played it for a little bit and then, but I mean, when you first get a new computer, you're always sort of you're always itching to try new stuff out so I was really overwhelmed with a lot of other games that are on the market so I, I put it aside for a little bit and I would say about maybe six or seven months ago um, I hadn't even had a premium account at this time and um, I jumped back on it and I just I just felt that urge and that I just understood that feeling again you know just coming back to something that it's almost like coming back home after a a hard day at school or something I guess. So I bought a premium account and I started playing quite a bit with friends over Steam and I was having a ball and I've had a ball ever since. So before I ramble on for too much I should probably uh, wrap up the commentary here. Um, please like and subscribe for more. Um, it's been it's, I've actually been really enjoying uploading to you guys and um, please share it with your friends because that'll definitely help me out. Thanks for watching. See ya.